It's your girl, and we are here at Typhoon Lagoon. Tonight is the first night of H2O Glow Nights. It's going to be a party, and of course, I got my party friend with me. Ah, it's Craig. Okay, so when it gets tonight, this whole place is gonna glow. Um, they already gave us some glow sticks. We're gonna see characters. There's gonna be food that might glow a little. Um, it's gonna be fun in the water. So instead of fun in the sun, fun in the dark and make it glow. Follow along. This is an after hours event. It is going to be a three hour exclusive event. Our second after hours. Let's go, I'm gonna stop talking about it. Let's go have a good time, woo! Craig is here too. But pro tip, bring your own glow stuff. So I stopped at Walmart before we got here. I have some glow bracelets. We have the ears. We have glasses. We are ready uh, to glow. But first we gotta go get a drink. Liquor! Oh, no. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get our glow on and then get our drink on. Let's go. We are glowing! She is? Uh, I'll get somebody to do a full, full fit check for it's actually really, really dark. <laughs> oh. Who don't want to be on camera? We're gonna get him on that before the day over. Thank you, baby. Oh, that is hard to drink. Hold on, wait. The Zoe Whip at the bottom is thick. She's a thick girl. Mm. But I like it. If I could get this at Magic Kingdom, it would be a really, really good day. A Zoe Whip with cider on top? Yes, ma'am. I don't think it looks very much like the picture. The picture makes it look like a really pretty Joel whip. Like, well, you know, with the swirl and then they put the cider on top. It is, it do sit at the bottom like it does in the picture, but it just kind of settles. It don't have that pretty swirl after they put the cider on top. That is me. We have the jalapeno popper burger. It looks like a whole party. Um, we have <laughs> jalapeno poppers on top, a burger, some pimento cheese, and a giant onion ring. We have bacon. We also have like this little sauce. Oh, it's like a cilantro kind of sauce. The burger looks like a party. Oh, it smells like super smoky. Very, very smoky. I'm gonna try to take, to unhinge my jaw for this one. Take a big bite. Mmm. There's barbecue sauce. It's less jalapeno popper and more like just barbecue, barbecue rodeo burger with like the bacon, the barbecue sauce, onion ring. I feel like the only part that's jalapeno popper is the poppers on top. I would've wanted the popper in the burger. But that's like a, have like a jalapeno pimento cheese in it. I'm never gonna say, say no to two jalapeno poppers on top of a burger though. So let me try the jalapeno popper. It's the poppers where the jalapeno is chopped up into little pieces and then it's mixed with the cheese. I like the ones that are cream cheese with the big piece of jalapeno at the bottom. That'd be real good. <laughs> I do believe this was $17.99, $17.49. I mean, it's a premium burger. It does come with fries, which I always pass the fries to somebody because little known fact, I'm not a fry girl. Why would they act the food like that? <laughs> at the peasants. They're gonna get some of the burger too, cause y'all, I can't 
eat all this. If anyone's ever wondering, like, Adriana, what happened to all this food? My friends eat it. Because obviously, I could not eat all this food by myself. Final thoughts on the burger. If you want something that's like, bang for your buck, a lot of food, get the burger. I wish that this, like, jalapeno sauce that was on it was more. I wish I had like a big glob of it so that I have more of the jalapeno flavor. It basically just tastes like a barbecue rodeo burger. If you know what a barbecue rodeo burger is, where it's like bacon, barbecue sauce, and burger with an onion ring. There's not really a lot of jalapeno popper flavor, but I'm not mad at it. It's still pretty delicious. As with all After Hours events, one of the many perks is that you get to meet special characters. You are the king of summer, right? We gotta figure out what we do and all the things we can do before school starts, right? That's the whole concept. So what mischief are we getting into? Oh, what aren't we getting into? Right, exactly! Oh my gosh! It's so nice to meet you! Uh, yeah. Bye! With all After Hours event, you get free soda, ice cream. We have Mike, Mickey's premium ice cream sandwiches and Mickey's premium ice cream bars. You also get free popcorn. We love the popcorn. And then strawberry. Emily got one of the little strawberry popsicles, the little pilettas. So if you're like toast intolerant, they got you. But y'all already know what I'm going for. Give me that Mickey Premium bar. Because we love a Mickey Premium. We were just talking about how at After Hours event they give you Mickey Premiums for free, but if you get them on a regular day, they're like $6. It's just not fair. That's why I'm trying to eat as many of them as I can. Jen, Craig, and Emily all went and got in the Lazy River. Um, I am on my way to find a different snack. They already gave us the foodie guy for H2O Glow Nights. Everything looks really colorful and fun. Um, and there was a, a little container with some chicken nuggies and bacon and a bunch of different stuff like a meat cooterie board um, instead of charcuterie, but like fried meats. I don't know. Let's go figure it out. We are here at Typhoon Tilly's. This was the thing I was talking about. The spice chicken strip waffle wrap. Oh wow. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is my boyfriend. I told y'all earlier that he didn't want to be in the video, but now I'm for it. He didn't got a drink or two in him. And he has come to life. Ladies and gentlemen, John Guzman. Yeah! It comes in a souvenir cup, which, oh, I love a souvenir cup. We can take this home. Don't throw my cup away. It says Disney Typhoon Lagoon on the on one side, but of course, because we got to save money, it's a Blizzard Beach on the other side. We are not at Blizzard Beach. Blizzard Beach ain't even over right now. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> don't know what to do, my He don't know what to do. He's a free. He's never been on the YouTube before. He doesn't know how to be on camera. <laughs> All right, so we are waiting for, I kept calling it like a meat charcuterie board. It's just, it's just a waffle wrap. It's a, it's a chicken and a waffle. Yeah, it's just chicken and a waffle, but it, the way in the picture, it just like looks so cool that it's like chicken nuggets, chicken tendies, and then like three giant pieces of bacon. I was like, what is this? Oh my gosh. Look at this tiny, tiny coleslaw. Okay, so this is the spiced chili chicken waffle wrap my gosh um this is wild look at this bacon on the side i just can't get over the fact that it's like chicken covered in like a sweet chili sauce and then just three giant flower petals of bacon <laughs> a part of me wants to be a savage and just like you know this is not a fork so okay I, I guess I'll be a lady and like pick up a piece of chicken. Ooh, oh my God, it's all connected. Let's see if I can pull it out some. This is what it really looked like without the little piece on it. So it's just like chilling in the waffle. Oh, that is very spicy. You need to keep it in here. Don't be like me, don't take it out. Maybe like push it up some and hold it. It is very spicy. Like, this is like right at the level of spice where I'm like, a bit too much. And I do like spicy things. 
It is a sweet chili sauce, but what happened? Uh, that shit hit my nostrils. It smell it. You can smell it, right? Oh my god, are you gonna sneeze? No. I'm good. John is behind the camera. He can smell how strong the spice is in this. Like it is right to the le and I like spicy things. It is right to the level of too spicy. If you cannot eat spicy things, I do not suggest. It says spice. It did not say spicy. Um, I don't suggest getting this if you cannot handle spice because it's going to be overpowering. We will never disrespect a Disney World chicken Cindy. <laughs> it is <laughs> why is it so spicy? Okay, I was about to say ne never disrespect Disney World chicken Cindy because they are juicy. They are big pieces of chicken. They're juicy. They're crispy. Like it's the same chicken tenders you love from Walt Disney World. But the sauce in is hot habanero. We have a hot habanero, honey habanero sauce in our uh, uh, pantry that we only put like a little drop. And it is hotter than that. Oh my gosh. I like it. John likes it. I like it too. It's just like unexpectedly mm. very Yeah, if you spicy. didn't know it was coming, don't, don't hit you on the back of the throat. Yeah, don't get this if you don't, if you can't handle spice because you it's going to ruin your night. But if you like spicy things, oh my gosh, this is delicious. Okay, let me take a little pack. I do not understand why this bacon is even here. Um, I've already tasted the chicken flavor wise. I don't think the bacon is gonna do anything to compliment the chicken. It's just here and who says no to bacon because it's fun. 110% this bacon is not adding a thing to this dish other than bacon. That's all it needs to be. That's all it needs. The bacon is baconing. The bacon is baconing. It is. It is very much baconing. I do not need to do anything else. Um, a part of me wants to try. Well, I just got a little bit of it. When it goes into your nose, the smell it does. It tickles your nose. Like Disney World. Why did you decide to make this so spicy? It's so good. I'm gonna try a little bit of the waffle. I think the sweetness it will add to like the flavor of the chicken one minute okay all right i said the bacon wasn't adding nothing to the party but it is you got a little bit of the bacon you get some of that in the sauce and then you have some of this waffle and that is a little bit of a treat i talked about this tiny little coleslaw you the tiny little bite of coleslaw this is honestly two bites of coleslaw like not not enough coleslaw to call it a side but it might cool my mouth down mm -hmm. I shouldn't have been mean that it's two bites of coleslaw I needed it if John is behind the camera choking he's also being my tripod so that's why I keep looking a little tilted it's okay He's drinking a beer and holding the camera, and we appreciate him for doing a good job. I might need a little bit of this beer. I think the table tilted. Oh, the table. Every table at Typho Lagoon is tilted, okay? I don't know what they did to the ground, but I, we have not sat in a straight chair or a table since we've been here. And you know what? That's okay. Um. Oh, final thoughts on the spiced chicken, waffle, bacon, concoction my my top lip is burning i'm not sure if i could finish it if you like spicy it is delicious it is very good it is well crafted Let, don't get me wrong last year when we came i recorded a whole instagram video i eventually will maybe use the footage this year i did not show it because the food was that disappointing it is no secret that h2o gold nights is a great after hours party and the food for the last two, three years has been lacking, right? Since they have brought it back. Two years since they brought it back. Um, this year, both food items, and when I saw the foodie guide, I was like, okay, they're really putting work into it. And I can tell, the food is well thought out this year. It is very, very good. Um, much better than last year. But this option is 
on the scale of one to ten spicy level, it's a seven and a half and an eight. Maybe an eight. Your mouth gonna burn a little. Okay, we're still not done. That was so spicy and so good. And now I need to cool my tongue off. Um, so we are going to go to the snack shop and get more Dole Whip. We have the Dole Whip bathtub sundae. It is Dole Whip pineapple, Dole Whip strawberry, and green matcha tea soft serve. So I changed my mind. I did not get the bathtub because it was just too big. It was too much. But we did get the cone because that's a little bit more doable. It's just a bit smaller. Comes with little fishies on it. It is the strawberry and matcha, and it has Pocky on it. I do love Pocky. Everybody in line was so nice to me and let me see their um, bathtubs, <laughs> their bathtub Sundays. Um, so the camera ate already, and now it's time for me to. Oh my, <gasps> it's so good. Wait, Trace, try, try it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh wow. It's like oh, strawberry and matcha. Oh, that is good. It's bomb. Yeah, I'll let you enjoy it. It has Swedish fish on it. I keep almost losing my fish. Here, babe's gonna get the last one. That's my favorite. It's so good because they're like a little cold. And this one is, it said matcha soft serve. I want just the matcha soft serve. Like I wish I could get just like a cone of just the matcha but it's really delicious with the strawberry and it's so cold and it's cooling my mouth down after that very spicy chicken and the cone looks like a little mermaid tail if you're wondering should i get the bathtub sunday or should i get the cone like i was bathtub sunday is gonna come with pineapple strawberry and the matcha and it has like blue slushy at the bottom it is around 16 dollars you need a family I am not a family. It's just me and John. And then, you know, the rest of them, they get no rides. So, this one was only $6.49. If you're by yourself or if it's just two of you, I would go with the Sunday versus the tub. But the tub is the gusto. It is the big thing. <laughs> that was worse than being the glizzy guzzler. That's how you keep a girl. We had to switch to the phone because we're getting in the water <laughs> let's play mermaids <laughs> i like the ones that look like little seats for h2o glow nights they bring out these like glittery ones and sometimes there's character ones as well that like look like mike and sully and nemo there's nemo we saw wally <laughs> it just sent me moving get my people they're all the way back there the tide has just swept me away. There wasn't a cloud in the No clouds allowed in the sky. To the other end in time, apparently you can catch the girl so perfectly. What? Apparently, if we get off at the right spot, we can see the drone show. Now, I saw the drone show yesterday, but I did not record it on my um, for a YouTube video because I was like, I didn't have, it wasn't going to be enough content. It was just one drone show. And I don't do POVs, okay? Y'all going to have to go to somebody else's YouTube for a full POV, okay? It's, it's me telling y'all what I'm doing. Uh, but apparently we can see it perfectly from here. We're going to try to figure that out. H2O Glow Nights is also going to be your only opportunity to do a night swim at one of Disney's water parks. And it was so fun and such a beautiful experience. Up, update you you can where's that what's she at you can see it just a little bit if we were higher it started late if we were higher we would have saw it but pro tip if you want to see the drone show and you're in typhoon lagoon and you will have an obstructive view but you will be able to see it they're handing out mickey premiums to go they said you don't have to go home, but you have to get out of here. And take a Mickey Premium bar while you're at it, all right? But go, please, leave. We're trying to clean up. <laughs> so, H2O Glow Night, three hours. Um, we had a good time, we tried some food. And Jen and Emily and Craig got to ride some rides. I think 
this is a fun little party. It is shorter than the other after hours we did. That was four hours. This was only three hours, but you do get the extra time. So they let you into the park at six with your ticket. This is the cheapest after hour ticket. I think it starts at $79. Not expensive at all. So it might be a good bet, especially if you and your family like water parks. That is all for us here today at Viper Lagoon. We are all done with the H2O Glow after hours party. Three hours of fun, um, glowing water, food, so much food, and of course, all the Mickey Premium bars I can shove into my mouth. Um, I wish that I had brought a cooler so that I can get more, but I, I, you know, this doesn't work like that. Next time. Until next time, I will see you guys on another day at another park for another adventure. Bye!